Hello everyone and welcome to chapter 2 um, the chakras and the four clairs um, every one of us has our own intuitive gifts you don't have to do anything to attract your intuition it's already a vital part of you in fact you share a physiological and energetic link with each of your clairs via your chakras the chakras. Chakras are energy centers located all over your body that both absorb and send out different vibrations. The word chakra means wheel in Sanskrit, one of the world's oldest languages, because these energy centers spin around like a wheel, similar to the visual of water swirling down a drain. Just uh, as light has a different colored wavelengths according to the speed of its vibration, so do the chakra energy wheels appear in an, era, uh, in an array of colors. For example, in the spectrum, red is one of the slowest vibration and purple is one of the fastest. If you were to hook, uh, if you were to hook colors up to an um, oscilloscope, sorry, I can't pronounce that. Um, uh, os oscilloscope, an instrument used to measure the frequency of an electrical signal over time. You would see waves on a graph to indicate their rate of speed. Red would have long stretched out waves, while purple would appear as a busy wave line. The chakras in the lower part of the body have the slowest vibrations, which correspond to warm energy colors, red, orange, and yellow. Traveling up the body along the endocrine system, each chakra has a progressively faster spinning wheel. Therefore, the colors above the waist represent faster moving cool colors of green, blue, and purple. Most people know about the seven major chakras, crown, third, eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, and root. They run up the center of your body with two additional important chakras on either side of your head, your ear chakras. Each chakra is given the job of processing a specific kind of energy, the psychic and uh, the psychic energy associated with clear resistance is linked to your heart and solar plexus chakras, clairvoyance to your third eye chakra, clear audience to your ear chakras and clear cognizance to your crown chakra. Ancient wisdom and modern psychic studies contend that the body possesses hundreds of these energy centers. In fact, each hand displays its own rainbow of chakra colors throughout the palm and fingers. As you might expect, the hand chakras are linked to your feeling psychic senses clear existence when your chakra system is unbalanced your life can become unbalanced all your chakras are connected so when you focus on some of the larger energy centers the others become cleansed and balanced too by nourishing your various chakras you can clear the channels of your clairs and enhance your feeling seeing hearing and knowing intuition feeling clairs clairs sentient in intuition feeling clear sentient intuition you can receive messages from combination of the four clairs clair uh, instance clairvoyance clair audience and clair recognizance uh, usually the one of them is your primary way of connecting with the physical and the spiritual world the most pre prevalent form of intuition is clair resistance uh, which involves your physical and emotional feelings. Here are some examples of clear resistance. You get a feeling that a certain person is going to call and he or she does. Something in your gut guides your decision and it turns out to be the correct one. You can sense the presence of another person around you, even if you can't see or hear anyone. You smell your late grandmother's fa favorite perfume when none is physically present at the moment. Aside from heaven, you meet someone new and get a bad feeling about the person which proves to be justified. 
Clearest instance, like all forms of intuition, has practical applications. While being psychic is associated with alternative lifestyles, the truth is that highly successful people and those who work in the dangerous occupations, emergency workers, for instance, all rely upon their gut instincts. Entrepreneurs follow hunches about business prospects and police officers depend upon their feelings for survival. Uh, the intuitive skills inherited from our ancient ancestors serve us well in modern times. There is scientific evidence for kinesthetic feeling based intuition as well. Studies show that the heart and nervous system respond to a stimulus two to five seconds before it presented. Listening to the body signals such as heart rate, muscle tension, and so forth will help you navigate through life. Likewise, our bodies can also sense the presence of a loved one, even when our conscious minds cannot. Such is the case with a cognitive disorder known as prosopagansia or face blindness, as described by social psychologist David G. Myers in this expert from the book Intuition, Its Powers and Perils. Patients with this disorder uh, have suffered damage to the part of the brain involved in face recognition. After losing the pertinent temporal lobe area, patients may have complete sensation but incomplete perception. They can sense visual information indeed, may accurately report the features of a face yet be unable to recognize it. When shown an unfamiliar face, they do not react. When they show a loved one's face, however, their body displays recognition. Their autonomic nervous system responds with measurable uh, perspiration and sp speeded pulse. What the conscious mind cannot understand, the heart knows. In other words, our bodies have the ability to recognize the persistence of a loved one through our intuitive senses when our brains are incapable of registering it. Clairresistance means that your body is attuned to the energy surrounding it and reacts accordingly. High vibrational energies such as love results in the body relaxing. Low Low vibrations such as fear or anger result in the body tensing following by one of the three types of autonomic responses. Flight, um, running away physically from the situation, detaching or disassociating. Fight, arguing, standing up for yourself, physically defending yourself. Freeze, deer in headlights. Response where you feel physically or emotionally helpless and may be temporarily paralyzed with fear. Clear resistance involves the entire body, which feels and responds to vibrations. This is based on several energetic points, namely the solar plexus, heart and hand chakras. Let's go over each one individually here. Solar plexus chakra. Language is filled with references to the clear resistance solar plexus connection. Consider how frequently you hear phrases such as the following. I had a gut feeling about that. My gut tells me I can't stomach the situation. I'm hungry for change. I feel butterflies in my stomach. All these references to the gut are really pointing to the solar plexus chakra, which is, a, which is located in your navel area. Ancient chakra teachings hold that the solar plexus is the energy center responding to power and control issues. It is hypersensitive to any vibrations in which someone else is trying to overpower or control you. When you feel the energy of someone who intends to use or abuse your, your stomach muscles tighten in preparation for fight, flight, or freeze, happily the solar plexus chakra and stomach muscles are respond to trustworthy people by relaxing. Clairsistance people often uh, pass off their guidance as just a gut feeling, but if you're clairsistent, then your gut feeling is so insistent and so ac accurate that you need to trust it. Your internal light detector is turned on 200%, so please don't discount those feelings. Listen to your gut when, you're f when you first meet somebody and when you go out to a new location. Experts believe that we make any of our decisions through a combination of reason and intuition. Using our emotional and physical feelings, these intuitive impulses are barely perceived until you resolve to pay attention to your under the surface feelings, which is the key to becoming increasingly intuitive. 
Heart chakra. The advice, listen to your heart, is an acknowledgement that this is the center of emotional wisdom. The heart is the truth teller that gives us guidance that can seem illogical yet usually leads us on a path of happiness and fulfillment. The ancients envisioned the heart chakra in the center of the chest, glowing bright green. The heart marks the first chakra going upward from toe to head. That has the faster moving cool coloring because green is a blend of the yellow from the solar plexus and the blue from the throat chakra. The heart chakra builds a bridge from the lower to the upper body. It's also a bridge between the lower and higher vibrations. The heart emits the strongest electromagnetic E m fields of any part of the body in fact the heart's em fields are 60 to 100 times stronger than the brain the brains and can be measured from a distance the heart's em field rhythms are also influenced by those of other people in the vicinity studies have found that when we resonate with others our heart rates synchronize perhaps this is why practitioners of traditional chinese medicine are taught to calm and center their hearts prior to working with patients the heart has its own brain. Neurocardiologists have identified that the heart has its own nervous system that learns and processes information separate from the cortical brain. In some cases, studies have shown that the heart sends signals to the brain, influencing our thinking. This makes sense as emotions often color our thoughts. For example, experiments by uh, Dean Radin and researchers at the University of Nevada placed individuals in a doctor's examining room while wearing heart and blood pressure monitors. In a different room, a researcher asked another person to think either positive or negative thoughts about the person wearing the monitors. The two people didn't know and couldn't see each other. The person wearing the monitors wasn't aware of this experiment. Whenever the stranger would think positive thoughts about the monitored person, the latter's heart rate and blood pressure would decrease. When negative thoughts <clears throat> were directed towards the person, he, his or her heart rate and blood pressure increased. The body literally responds to good and bad vibes. The heart is psychic. Heart response studies have shown that the heart reacts before the conscious mind is aware of a stimulus. For example, uh, Roland McCarty, PhD of the Heart Math Institute, conducted an experiment in which 26 people were shown randomly generated calm photos such as landscapes or emotional photos such as erotic or violent images while their hearts were monitored. During the experiment, heart rate variability responses changed significantly. 4.75 seconds before emotional photos were shown. That means that the heart can sense when something emotionally charged is about to happen. It reacts uh, ahead of time by decreasing or increasing the rate at which it beats. The study also found that the heart reacts ident identically to a stimulus whether it's forthcoming or clearly present. In other words, the heart doesn't second guess its intuitive feelings. It reacts the same because it trusts what it knows is coming next. We can all learn from positive example upset by our hearts. The heart math researchers concluded the heart is directly involved in processing of information about a future emotional stimulus seconds before the body actually experiences the stimulus. The heart appears to play a direct role in the perception of future events. The heart is impacted by emotions. Physicians have long realized that strong human emotions affect our physiology, and now scientific research supports this con continuation. For instance, it's been shown that people's cardiovascular health can suffer due to a broken heart, first identified as takostubo cardio myopathy in Japan. This condition is popularly referred to as a broken heart syndrome. By researchers in the West, the symptoms mimic a heart attack. According to Harvard Medical School report, broken heart syndrome is preceded by life stress, including accidents, weather disasters, sudden surprises, intense fear, receipt of bad news, arguments, um, financial loss, the death of a loved one, and illness. Then after suffering a trauma, the person is so distressed that adrenaline and other stress hormones reduce blood flow to the heart. 
temporarily enlarging part of it. Researchers estimate that 2.5% of people seeking heart attack treatment are actually suffering from broken heart syndromes. So our hearts are highly sensitive to stress. If you hold on to hurt, your heart chakra will dim and therefore be less effective in communicating with you. However, if you take the time to heal from the past emotional wounds by journaling, grieving, getting support from a group or a counselor or another method, then your heart chakra can be healthy and bright and an, and an effective communicator. Again, modern science is verifying this ancient wisdom. A 2004 study found that depression significantly impairs our intuitive abilities. Just when you are most in need of intuitive guidance to pull yourself out the blues, it's most difficult to reach. Researchers say that depression makes it challenging. Makes it challenging for us to focus, which limits our ability to access intuitive information. So getting help uh, for depression is healthy for your heart, your life, and your intuition. Hand chakras. As you read so far, the body knows what's coming its way. Reacting with uh, preparation to fight or flee in the face of potential danger, the hands are an important part of the body's sensing tools. As we mentioned, the seven classic chakras are the most familiar to people, yet the majority of chakras are actually in the hands, perhaps because the hands have a, have a disproportionately larger number of sensory neuronal connections to the nervous system. Being our chief sensors and our and are connectors with the outer world, they also have many chakras. The hands are extremely energy sensitive and intuitive. For example, physical therapists and massage therapists talk about the intuitive hand phenomenon, where their hands act like the divining roads ma magnetically drawn to their client's areas of soreness. There is a related movement among yoga teachers to gently use intuition to correct students' postures with their hands. The palms, the palms exhibit the same pre-stimulus reaction that was described in the heart studies earlier. In an experiment reported in 2,325 male and female participants had electrodes uh, taped to their hands connected to a skin con conductant monitor. A sound which was either calm or loud and startling was then randomly generated. Significantly, the participants' palms elicited skin con conductance responses more than three seconds prior to the startled sound. The palms the palms knew that something frightening was on the horizon. A follow-up study in 2005 by other researchers replicated this research. The second study even found more precisely that the palms react to 3.5 seconds prior to the person hearing a random start, startled sound. Our hands seem to have brains in them, too. Several decades ago, in an, in an attempt to heal people with serious brain injuries, surgeons would split the connective tissue between the left and the right hemispheres. Much research was conducted on subjects who underwent this surgery, as it resulted in persons with a split consciousness and divided awareness. One such study showed that hands have a mind of their own, as David M. Uh, as David G. Myers describes in Intuition. In an early experiment, psychologist Michael Gazangia asked split brain patients to stare at a dot as he flashed hard. Thus, he appeared in their left visual field, which transmits to the right brain, the art in the right field, which transmits to the left brain. When he asked them what they had seen, the patients said they saw art and so were startled when their hands their left hands controlled by the right brain. Pointed to he, given an opportunity to express itself, each hemisphere reported only what it had seen. The left hand intuitively knew what it could not vibrantly report. Similarly, when a picture of a spoon was flashed to their right brain, the patients could not say what they saw, but when asked to identify what they had seen by feeling an assortment of hidden objects with their left hands, they readily selected the spoon. If the experimenter said right, the patient might reply, what's what right? How could I possibly pick out the right object when I don't know what I saw? It is, of course, the left brain doing, t uh, doing the talking here. Bewildered by what its nonverbal right brain quietly knows. 
These experiments demonstrate that the right brain under understands simple requests and easily perceives objects. In fact, the right brain is superior to the left as copying drawings, recognizing faces, perceiving differences, sensing and expression emotion. Intuitive, art, intuitive artists allow their hands free reign to express themselves creatively. The same holds true with champion tennis players and golfers. They trust, let go, and allow their bodies to do what they know how to do. For personal healing purposes, I, Doreen, frequently use my hand trackers, for example. I will run my dominant hand, the one favored the writing, an inch or two above someone when I'm giving an in-person session. In this way, I receive a great deal of intuitive information at the person about the person's thought and emotional patterns. In addition, I found that we can hold out a hand in the direction of a place we are considering going, and it, it will give yes or no feedback about whether the venture would be productive or a waste of time. This feedback is processed as an inner knowingness. Seeing clairvoyant intuition. Clairvoyance translates the energies that you feel into visual symbols and messages. There are many forms or, uh, forms of clairvoyance, ranging from the rare experience of seeing a full three-dimensional vision with your eyes opened to more common clairvoyant experiences such as having a dream that proves to be prophetic, seeking sparkling lights, seeing sparkling lights with no medical cause or physical sign. Uh, seeing something m move out of the corner of your eye and there's nothing or no one there. Having visions in your mind's eye. Clairvoyance means the ability to clearly see, that is, your psychic sense is visual. You can understand here that the term clairvoyant is not necessarily the term as psychic. A person who is psychic very well may have clairvoyance but may not use that as his or her primary psychic sense. Being clairvoyant means that you are highly perceptive with your own physical sight and rely on your vision in every aspect of your life. You walk into somebody's house and instantly see that the picture frame is crooked. You can close your eyes and recall mental images of yesterday's activities. It also means you could be sensitive to bright lights. You might find it difficult to be out in full daylight without sunglasses or protective eyewear. With clairvoyance, you receive divine messages visually. As we have mentioned, you have, you may see little sparkles or flashes of light or something appearing out of the corner of your eye. In the absence of medical issues, seeing sparkling light is a sign of clairvoyant abilities. What you're observing is the energy exchange between you and your angels. You'll perceive different colors of light as you become more comfortable with your clairvoyance. White light is generally your personal uh, guardian angels. Bright, vivid, uh, cobalt blue light is a sign that Archangel Michael is with you. Emerald green sparkles of light indicates that Archangel all Archangel Raphael is near. You don't have to behold these visions with your uh, physical eyes. Many times they're in your mind's eye. People often get hung up on the idea that they are meant to see their angels like they do people. As this thing, being, being right in front of them. How, however, you may still be clairvoyant with your eyes closed. Third eye chakra. The ancients recognized the energy center between the two physical eyes. Calling in the uh, calling the Ajna or brow, brow chakra. Today we refer to it as the third eye chakra because it's literally the, the third eye between your physical eyes. If you meditate, if you meditate upon this area, you will eventually see a mental image of your own third eye. It looks like identical to your other two eyes, except there isn't a trace of stress or pain discernible. It's the eye of your higher self, uh, which, stay, which stays above all forms of negativity and looks back at you with pure unconditional love. Energetically, your third eye is housed in a pyramid-shaped membrane that shields it from fear and stress. Like a movie camera that's always filming, your third eye sees the energetic truth about everything you experience. It records everyone's real feelings in a video that you can watch per periodically or save for your life review at the end of your mortal time on earth. The third eye has the potential to be covered with energetic equivalent of camera 
um, lens cap. You'll still be recording visual information, but the lens cap will prevent you from seeing it on a daily basis. This occurs when people are afraid of the possibility of clairvoyant visions. Perhaps they fear losing control or are worried about seeing a frightening image. Removing the lens cap requires that you make a conscious decision to see clairvoyantly. I, Doreen Virtue, created a 9-video online course to help with this process called Clairvoyant Therapy, available on my earthangel.com website. This book also offers guidance for uh, clearing all your chakras, including the third eye. Hearing, Clairaudient Intuition. With your next psychic senses, we focus upon hearing, called clair clairaudience. Clear audience. If you are mostly hearing oriented in your life, then you primarily clear your primarily clear is likely clear audience. Sounds are are your psychic channel. For example, when you hear songs on the radio in, or in your mind, you discern that they carry meaningful messages. Chances are the lyrics are significant for you or the person you associate with that music is trying to connect with you or upon aw awakening you hear your name spoken but no one is there when you're clear uh, audience you'll hear god and the angels speak directly to you just as though you are having a conversation with a dear friend their voice may be external to your body so you may hear it as whispering in your ear or may hear it internally as a voice inside your mind You'll know it's not an auditory hallucination, as those are always negative. On the same note, the voice of the ego speaks of elevating you above others or coaches you about some get-rich-quick scheme. In a happy contrast, messages from God and the angels are always loving and positive. In the beginning, that voice may sound, sim uh, sound similar to your own. The ego has a field, a field day with this. You'll tell yourself that you're making it up or that it's just your own thought. Yes, you're hearing your own voice, but in spiritual truth, that's the voice that you'll be most comfortable hearing. That's the voice that feels most uh, f uh, familiar and the safest. God and the angels come through on that frequency. As you become more and more comfortable, more and more relaxed, they begin to speak to you in a different voices and different ways. If you're clear audience, you're also sensitive to sounds. You're often affected by different types of music and it's likely that you get overwhelmed by noise. So you avoid loud places and prefer quieter music rather than listening a full volume. Since sounds and words are your psychic gift, you probably steer, a cl a st uh, steer clear of negative talk and harsh language. If you spend time around people who gossip, you may get physical symptoms like headaches. Honor your sensitivity as the spiritual gift that is and adjust your lifestyle toward gentle sounds. For example, play soft music in your home and spend time with people who have pleasant voices with respectful vocabulary. Buy high qual quality earplugs or noise canceling headphones for those times when you'll encounter lo loudness. The point is to, con is to take control of your auditory environment, to give yourself a comfort and also to protect your sensitive inner and outer sense of hearing. Ear chakras, the energy centers supporting and regulating clair, uh, clair audience are known as the ear chakras, located in between each ear and eyebrow. Reddish, violet in color, this energy centers allow you to clearly hear the voice of God, Holy Spirit, your higher self, or anyone else who, whom you hold the intention of hearing. The ear chakras become blocked with lower energies, primarily from any verbal abuse you've heard from uh, yourself or others. Anytime anyone puts you down, in including self-put-downs, the ear chakras absorb this energy like a sponge. They are also affected by hearing negative words and frightening sounds. If the ear chakras aren't cleared, aren't cleared of the negative messages they act like a vacuum cleaner that needs to that needs its filtered cleaned in part three you'll read about ways to clear your ear chakras to maintain their uh, cleanliness steer steer clear of negativity in sounds such as media reports or people who speak harshly use loving words as you think or speak yourself uh, gentle and uplifting music and situations are the most supportive knowing Clear recognition intuition. Clear recognition is when you receive information as an instant download. You just know without knowing how you know. Clear uh, recognition people are sometimes called know it all because, quite frankly, 
they are. They don't have a rational explanation or how they obtain this information because it's heaven sent. They receive divine guidance through the thoughts that just magically pop up. Your cleric, uh, your cleric, is innocent. If you know who who's knocking at the door before you answer it or who's calling you before you even seen the caller ID. So many times clairvoyant people will say something like hmm we haven't seen aunt mary for a while have we then that day she uh, appears at your doorstep some examples of clairvoyant include knowing how to do something complicated without receiving prior instructions meeting someone new and having an instant knowingness information not feelings about that having knowledge uh, come pouring through you when you speak or write and you didn't know the, those facts before receiving million dollar ideas even if you don't follow through on them the scientific annals are uh, filled with research about Claire uh, Gaznison one of the leading researchers on the topic John Barr describes it as automatic unconscious knowing and Princeton University uh, psychologist Daniel Kanema notes, intuitive thinking is perception like rapid effortless by contrast. Deliberate thinking is reasoning like critical and analytic. In other words, Claire recognizes and receives their information internally. If this sounds like you, the key is learning to trust your knowing, uh, your knowingness. Logically, you or others may question how you know what you know. Trust the intuitive process, which is similar to having a down download of information suddenly appear in your mind. If you're a clear uh, recognizant, you know to pay, pay very close attention to your thoughts and please share them with others. So many times in our travels, we've met clear recognizant people who don't voice the wisdom that they receive because they assume it's common knowledge. Understand that the wisdom you have as a matter, of course, may be profoundly and spiritually life-changing for everybody else. Crown chakra. The crown chakra crowns the chakras within our bodies. It is essential to receiving thoughts, information, and ideas from the divine mind or collective unconscious. Those who are highly clairignizant can tap into the wealth of creativity and inventions that bound in the spiritual plane. A clean crown chakra glows in a beautiful rich shade of purple interspersed with sparkles of diamond white light. Crown chakras clock with unhealed emotions and bitter thoughts about divine guidance, God or negative religious experiences look as dark as the night sky. Fortunately, the chakras respond quickly to nutrition rich cleansing foods and uh, clearing techniques such as detoxing described in part uh, two and part three asking for the information to be clearer your intuition is the way you receive divine messages so it's important that they uh, come through clearly throughout this book we will share nutritional methods and techniques that will enhance your natural abilities to complement this we also recommend asking for clear information if you were chatting with someone and the person was talking too softly you would ask him or her to uh, to uh, please speak up you can do the the very uh, same with your intuition guidance if you hear a message but it's not quiet Ask for it to come through louder. If you have a rapid vision in your mind, ask to see the image again but more slowly. Many people forget or don't even realize that they can request that their intuitive messages be clearer and more comfortable for them. Your primary clair. Now that we've looked at the four types of intuition, clairresistance, clairvoyance, clairaudience, and clairrecognizance, you may be wondering which applies to you. Everyone has the capacity for each of these psychic senses. As they are part of our physiology, that is to say, we all have clairvoyance, we all have clairaudience, we all have clairresistance, and we all have clairrecognizance. It's usual though that one or two of them are stronger and perhaps more developed than the others. And this is how your intuition speaks to you the loudest. Your primary clair is the main way in which you notice the outside world and the inner world of intuition and corresponds with one of the following sensory orientations, kinesthetic, clairsistence. This means that you connect to the world through your physical and emotional feelings. You monitor how you feel in situations and relationships to determine your next step. 
when you meet someone you notice how you feel in his or her presence to ascertain whether you want to spend more time with him or not you can sense when something is right or off you use emotions to make decisions you tend to follow your heart you are extremely sensitive to energy and pick up the on others emotions in fact if you're not careful you you take on other people's problems as if they were your own extremely compassionate and empathetic you are also aware of your physical feelings you notice how your body reacts and you trust these messages you also have taken a sense of smell and taste visual clairvoyant your eyes are your connection to the world and you notice and appreciate beauty you have a photographic memory and learn best by seeing processes demonstrated you don't like pictures on the wall to be crooked and you prefer visual balance and order you have vivid dreams even if you can't remember them you watch what people do rather than what they say to determine their integrity many of your intuition messages are received as visuals in your mind's eye you may see a vision of a symbol a flash of an image or even a mental movie you may also see sparkling or flashing lights and your eyes and body are perfectly healthy auditory clear audience you relate to the world through the sounds you hear you pay attention to the melody and inflection of someone's voice more than you do to his or her own words you hear songs in your mind as a primary way of receiving divine messages you may have also heard celestial music or your name being called without any physical presence to account for these sounds um, you may he hear a high-pitched ringing sound in one ear with no medical origin. This is the sound of heaven trying to get your attention. You can receive divine dictation from God's voice if you choose to simply receive. You, if you choose to simply go to a writing platform like a computer or sit at your desk with a pen and paper and begin to ask questions aloud or silently, then type your type or write the answers you hear. The truth always clicks with you cognitive clear existence you process everything through your thoughts noticing whether it makes sense or you can learn something from it knowledge is your priority and you love to learn you have a sense of knowingness where you know things about any logical explanation or how you know if someone asks you a question you will deliver the answer as if you're channeling an encyclopedia for this reason you may have been teased as know-it-all you are able to fix things without looking at distractions you, you receive great ideas or inventions however you may talk yourself out of pursuing them because you're certain that everyone knows what you know you think your knowledge is common information but it's not to discover which is clear is your strongest pay attention to what you notice when you meet someone new are you focused on your feelings clear assistance looking at the person's eyes clothing hair and so on clairvoyance noticing the sound of his or her voice clear audience or asserting whether you think the person is interesting clear recognizance the way you process information in the physical world exactly the way you perceive divine guidance you can also ask god and angels a question and pay attention to what comes up if your clear assistance notice how you feel as you go through your day when you feel light and happy, it shows you are going in the right direction. If there is some disquiet, look for other ways to approach the situation. If you're clairvoyant, notice the things that are catching your eye. For instance, why do you keep seeing that store's name? Maybe you need to go to there today. If you're a clairaudient, notice, that, notice what you hear. Do you catch part of a conversation between people sitting behind you? It may be a message for you. If you're if you're clear existence notice what you think about today did you receive any inspired ideas pay attention to all those sensory experiences and allow your intuition to develop fully in order to embrace in the new exciting ways when you eat healthy natural foods your intuitive gifts will strengthen instead of trying to decipher confusing messages you receive insights that are clearly and easy to understand you'll first notice that your primary clear becomes more accurate and reliable then by uh, continuing to enjoy nutritious bo uh, foods you will strengthen your secondary clears adding even more detail to the messages and guidance you receive in the next chapter, we'll introduce you to the healing force of food and how that plays a role in your clairvoyance, clairassistance, clairaudience, and clair, clairrecognizance.